First, we will learn how to digitize in MaxTrack 2D. Let's go over the available tools that can be used to enhance the image. This button overlays or removes a grid on the video. This button turns the time display on and off. We can also rotate, flip, and invert the image using these buttons. Digitizing is the process of identifying landmarks on the subject. Landmarks, such as joint positions, are commonly used for calculating kinematic measurements. Digitizing can be performed manually, automatically, or a combination of both options. Manual digitizing can be done on any video file, even when no markers are present. Automatic digitizing works best when the subject is wearing markers or has dark points on a light background or light points on a dark background. The first step is to set the number of points we want to digitize in this video clip. In this case, we have four points. The points can be renamed by right-clicking a point and selecting Rename Point. Once this is done, we can begin manually digitizing the points, making sure the Digitize button is green. Selecting Auto Point will automatically advance us from one point to the next, and Auto Frame will take us to the next frame once all the points in the current frame have been identified. If we're finding it difficult to identify a point, we can zoom in on the image by putting the cursor at the center of the area we want to zoom and hold down the Shift key. We could also right-click and select the Zoom option. Because this subject is wearing dark markers on a light background, we can use MaxTrack 2D's auto tracking feature. We still need to manually digitize the first frame, then we can press the auto track button. After this, simply press play in the video controls and let the software do the rest. Auto tracking will stop if a point cannot be identified. We can then manually identify that point and continue with the auto tracking. When points are digitized, the graph pane can display information such as position, velocity, and acceleration with respect to time. The graph display can be translated using the control button with the left mouse button. It can also be zoomed using the shift button with the left mouse button. Pressing shift and the right mouse button will revert the graph to its original scale.